Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Microsoft Teams tutorial, we are going to learn how you can use the breakout rooms within Microsoft Teams. Breakout room functionality is very important and very useful to use when you are having a group meeting and you want to do sort of brainstorming with the smaller groups and then come back with those ideas into the wider audience or the bigger group. If you are doing training, you are a teacher, then also you want to, you might want to break out the students into smaller groups so that they can come up with certain ideas and then you can come back and listen to those groups so basically we'll understand all of that how you can break out the group into smaller groups within teams and then also join those groups and see what people are having conversation within right so for example uh, we have the teams right so there there will be certain teams or you will create a team for a certain meeting or a training and then we you want to have the meeting with the wider audience so basically say for example i want to start a meeting in the general group here or say for example development squad okay so now in the development squad i'll go ahead and start a quick meeting which is just meeting now or you can schedule a meeting for future so whenever you will start a meeting so let's say for example i want to start a meeting now and then i will simply go ahead and start a join now or click because i'm the organizer so i'll join the meeting and then i can request other people to join the meeting as well right so now because this is just a instant meeting that i have started so i can go ahead and manually add the participants to this particular meeting which has started so i'll click on add meeting and then i can invite the other people to or request them to join right so basically i'll go ahead and click on request to join and the call will go to that particular user to join that meeting right so i'll simply ask the person Person to join and then let me mute it and then I'll request other person as well to join the meeting okay let me request this person as well so I'll drop okay so you can see that we have three people here in the meeting right so I'm the organizer and I have two more guests here or two more participants here in the meeting now how can I break them into rooms? so at the top you'll see this breakout room icon and it will be appearing in any meeting whether you have scheduled it for future or you have started instant meeting with meet now you will be able to get this rooms icon so if I click on the room icon you will see different options that are available to create the breakout room I can choose the number of rooms I want to create so here I can say I want to create three rooms four rooms etc depending on how many participants are there right so at the moment only two participants so it doesn't make sense to make more rooms and then how you want to assign the participants within the room so teams provide you to assign the participants automatically or you can manually choose the participants in which room you want to assign which particular participant right so as of now I'll change it to automatic and then click on create room to create two separate rooms and these participants will be moved to separate rooms rooms now because this is a demo it doesn't make too much sense to create two rooms for two people but then if you have more people you have you want to create room of two people each or three people each and you have more participants here joining the meeting you can automatically do that and automatically the breakout rooms will be created so if i click on create rooms you will see that it will give you a prompt that we are creating your rooms and the rooms will be created and one of each participant will be allocated that particular room right so you'll see that all participants has been have been assigned and then I can simply click on open rooms right so you'll see that at the moment they are closed but then you have to go ahead and open the room so that the assigned participants are allocated that particular room so you'll see the participant has moved from one of the from this main area here to the room and you'll see that it is still opening so the second participant will be moved to other room as well okay so you'll see that these rooms are now open okay and each of these so for example if I go to this room 2 here I click on here you will see the person has been allocated or Nishant S has been allocated here if I click on these more options here I can ask them to join right so at the moment you will see if I click here you will see that 
the person rcv tutorials is in the meeting but then this person has been moved to the room but hasn't joined right or is not in the meeting so i can simply click on ellipses here and i can click ask to join and they'll start receiving the call from the room and let me accept it and they will be in the meeting you'll see that now this nishant s is also in the meeting right now if you want to basically you know uh, see what all other options are available here if you click on the ellipses here you can rename the room right so i can rename this room to rather than just generic room to something else right so i'll say unit testing okay discussions and then the room one will be renamed to unit testing discussions okay similarly i can go ahead and change other options so i can close the room or i can join the room so as an organizer i am into the main room at the moment right so i can simply go ahead and join the room for example i want to see what discussions are going on into the unit testing room then i can simply click on the ellipses in the right hand side and click on join room okay and then within this room i'll be moved from the main room or main meeting to that particular room okay so now you'll see that i have been moved to the room here wherein rcv tutorials is there as a guest and the i am the organizer and i am also participant of that unit testing discussions here so if i expand this right so you'll see in the main area here i am on hold right because i'm the organizer so i am on hold because i have been moved to the other room right so to this particular room here so if i go to the people section here you will see in this meeting there are two people the organizer and the person that has been moved to this particular room okay if i want to leave this particular room i simply have to click on the leave on the room right so i'll simply go ahead and click on leave or I go to the main area here and simply click on resume to come to this meeting in the development squad back right so you'll see I am back in the meeting in the development squad and if I have to go to this particular room I simply click on ellipses and click on join room and then I'll be moved to the room number two and here you will see that I have been moved to the room number two at the top and there are two people here in the room number two okay and I can leave the room by simply clicking on the leave button here okay now I have leaved and I have I'll be back here I have left the room basically the room two and I can resume this meeting back okay now this is all about the rooms now if you click on this plus icon here if you want to add more rooms manually you can click on plus add room here plus icon and it will open add room option and a room will be added automatically and this is at the moment closed you can basically you know um, open the room as and when you have the participant then here you can make the announcement right so i can make the announcement so i can say time to come back to main room okay and then i can send this and everyone in these rooms will be basically notified about that particular announcement right so if i go to this for example i join this room and go to the chat section of that particular room then everyone in that room or all the rooms that are there would have been notified about the announcement that i have made right so if i go to the chat section here you will see that it has marked as important and time to come back to the main room has been appearing here okay so this is how the announcements can be made to all the audiences that have been bre uh, bre broken out into different rooms from the organizer okay so let me leave it leave this room now and resume the main room or the main meeting then the other option here is basically you have certain settings which are uh, kind of disabled and then you can also assign the participants right so, so for example uh, if you have more participants here that you want to assign manually right so you can choose the participants and then automatically choose different rooms so for example i want to assign this particular participant to a separate room right so i want to assign this participant to room three which i created separately i can choose that and select the room which i want to assign this particular participant to and click on assign so that participant will be moved from 
one particular room to other room okay so th this is basically how you are going to reassign the participant or assign the remaining participant manually to other rooms as well okay okay so you'll see that the participant has been moved out from the room too so there are no participants now and the participant has been moved to other room here now because this room was closed right so we have to first go ahead and open the room and then request the member who has been assigned here to join the room now, now by default if you have more members in the team rooms will already be open they won't be closed right so you will you can basically you know uh, directly assign and they'll be moved to different rooms automatically without asking them to rejoin those rooms now in the closed rooms you won't be able to join the people until unless you open the room right so if you see something closed simply click on the ellipses open the room first and then ask the people who are assigned in that room to join so that they can join if the rooms have been automatically created and people are already assigned obviously the rooms will be open by default okay so that's all for this tutorial on how to use breakout rooms within microsoft teams i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching